This is a boot. 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 Next queen. Boot. Yeah, next I, queen. Girl, <laughs> I mean. Hello, everybody, and welcome to part two of episode two of Addressed Opinions. If you haven't seen part one already, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Enjoy the video. Next queen we have to the stage is Olivia Lux. I appreciate any queen that does a symmetrical look down the middle. That is what this is. <laughs> the assignment yes, was complete, but this is a boot because the outfit is not styled correctly. It looks like two very scrunched up fabrics and the way it was attached in the middle doesn't look seamless. It looks very obvious that it was completely attached down the middle. And I think the intention for this outfit was for it to look like that. The way it is being worn makes me feel like this outfit was supposed to be on someone two feet taller and it had to be scrunched up to fit on her without like her tripping on it. This outfit reminds me of show curtains in a the theater when you have them to the side and then when they come together, mm -hmm. they should stay apart. Remember how I said I like the ruffles in mixed outfits? I don't like the ruffles in this outfit. It just does not make it look good. I love the pink lemonade and regular lemonade. She's had multiple little purses and all those purses actually seem like they went with the outfit and was like cute. This looks like it's a last minute add on. Just throw it, throw it out, throw it out. I do like the wig. I just don't like it with this outfit. Just a boot. The one thing my eyes can't stop staring at is how the seam shifts right on her stomach so it's not straight down. And there's that little piece that's kind of more into the pink I, than the yellow. And I can't stop staring at it. I hate that you got I my attention to it and it. now I see it. I hate you. That's all I see. This just looks heavy and thick and uncomfortably itchy. It doesn't look fun to wear. I like like the idea and the concept, the execution was definitely falling short for me. I don't even love the hair that much. I wish everything was a little tighter and more defined. Let that little swoop curl bang situation have more definition to it. Let the ponytail be a little more snatched. It's not for me. It's for somebody, but it ain't for me. So with that said, this outfit is absolutely gonna be in it a very unfortunate boo she looks great though her face she could be the mug she can but and... she can't sew an outfit next up to the stage we have rose this is a boot boo, boo. next boo. queen boo nah, next I, queen nah, girl <laughs> i mean we, yeah let's give uh... okay i'm gonna start first with the explanation i want this jacket in yellow absolutely i love the jacket it looks really cute it looks really nice she's rose she has to wear a pink it's only one different pink i want to see different hues of pink that can work together with it i do like the way the outfit is made i like the comp i like the the panties because they complement it. it's, it's just not one swimsuit kind of look i'm sorry i just I, I gotta clarify what i just hear you said you like how the outfit is made yes look i mean like look how it is it's like it's a it's a leather jacket and then look I, how I, i'm the, looking the, i see what it is <laughs> but no i'm saying i like how the jacket's made i like how the the panties actually complement the jacket and actually look like it's like an actual jacket as well. Just for your cooch. I got and what I'm she was doing with it. supposed to like that? I'm not saying you're supposed to like it. I said I like it. It's still a boot. Your face is not having it. <sighs> oh my god. Which one of us? Because I know either of us ain't having it. Oh girl, I forgot about the hair. I wish I could forget about the hair. I'll go next. Chile. There's nothing redeemable about this outfit. Not nothing. I can't name one thing on this outfit that I like. The shoes, why aren't they pink? Of all things, you make the shoes a silver. I hate the zip up cooch. I guess it's to promote easy access. I don't know. It looks like it zips up and then the intention is for it to button up afterwards. I hate the jacket. You didn't even mention anything about the makeup. The makeup is crunchy. I have had such a problem with the makeup and maybe it's because the hair is creating a shadow on the side and that's not helping her. Girl. <sighs> I don't think the person who did this didn't know what they were doing. I think they were trying to sabotage Rosé by telling her that this was going to be a good outfit. This doesn't even get a boot for me. It's It gets a not redeemable. 
is my official rating. Not, There's not not, not near a thing on here that I like. This outfit gives me they needed a contestant real quick. So they caught a girl on her way to the gig and she just got through having lunch. Hence why the bottom of her outfit is unsnapped because she's full right now <laughs> and it was too tight. They could have at least let her go home, pack a bag and put on a proper outfit as opposed to being dressed for Mickey's in WeHo. And she's not even headlining that. She's being asked to perform to fill the space because one of the other queens wasn't feeling too good. That's what I gotta say. Yeah. And, oh, well, I also have to say it's a boot, obviously, but. She wasn't even a replacement queen. They didn't have a queen to fill the slot. And they looked at her and they were like, you know what? Maybe we don't need a queen tonight. These are just our opinions. This is just On a their fun outfits. little thing. Yeah, our opinions on we their outfits. We hate your but... outfit. We love Rosé. We hate what, what Rosé decided to put on her body. That's the problem here. As a nice palate cleanser, we have Simone up next. I like the concept of having pictures all over yourself. It shows confidence. It shows fierceness. I wanted this outfit to be longer. I wanted it to be more than just like a semi top. I would have liked to see her take it all the way and have it be like a full length dress. Not a train, cause that would be too long and she would trip on it. But I would just like to see this go all the way down her legs and it be this like really beautiful moment. Her skin is chef's kiss. It's gorgeous. She is oiled up for the gods and it's really appealing. And honestly, the way her skin looks complements the outfit like it genuinely makes the outfit she doesn't need to wear pantyhose or fishnets like some of the girls that we've seen before she said bitch i'm gonna go out here in my full body you gonna see all of me and the shoes are actually really nice with the outfit as well it is a toot i just wish it was longer she really did go to charleston and johnson get that baby oil because like you said those skin look good and that's the reason why she chose the short dress to show off her legs especially her bare legs i wasn't really crazy about this look at first like girl i even clocked at the fact some of the pictures are the same but the more i look at it, the more i'm starting to like it it does fit her very well even accents her curves and everything i'm not wild about the wig but you can't really clock it that much. I love her smile. Like just the outfit itself is good and it's a two. Like I said, mwah, chef's kiss. You can call me Issa Rae because I'm rooting for everybody black. It's so well done. I think she's one of the few queens that can actually pull it off. She legit is giving me like this chocolate Barbie. Her skin is so gorgeous. She looks plastic. It's such a two. Such a, such a two. Hello, Mattel. Yes, we're going to need this as a doll. We need to make her stack. Next up to the stage, we have the classic Tamisha Iman. Mother. Yes. As we know, she makes all of her own outfits. So we know that she made this herself. This outfit is a two for me from the neck down. I love the like sheer under part that she has going on. I like the jacket. It is fitted well. The way it's fastened in the front gives it a little bit of shape so she's not boxy you can see she got a little bit of curve i love the pointed shoulder moment i do like the little cape feature in the back because i do think that that is what makes this a different look than just a jacket and pants i like the shoes i really appreciate the kind of silver lining that's around the shoe and the pants fit right they're not too long and they're not too short i don't fully like her makeup in this, but that's not enough to boot this look. It's a two. You know I love me some Tamisha Iman. See my previous comments for Simone regarding the Issa Rae isms of it all. When you're a queen of a certain age, you're not going to be out here looking crazy. Like she carries herself like the mother of the legendary house of Iman. She's not trying too hard. It's very effortless and regal and it's very grown woman. And I appreciate that. It's a very, very, very fitting for her. And it's a great look. So I toot it all day. 
all day. Yes, I do agree. I love this look. It gives me very, like you said, mature mother of the household. Like she knows she's here to lay it down. She's here to lay it down firm. And I like that. Usually when I look at people who wear pants, I look at the hem of the pants to see if it's right. It's done right. I like it. Even the details of the lining of her jacket, even down to her heels have that same rhinestone accent to it. And that's very smart and that's cohesive. I love the shoulders, like towers to the gods. It gives her some executive realness. I just love everything about it. Uh, it's a toot. Like, no issues, no problems. Work, okay. tongue pop, okay. Second to last on the stage, we have Miss Tinta Burnter. I wish this was her promo look. I feel like this says Tina Burner more than her promo look did. I love the hair and I do love the rim that she has in the hair because the whole intention of this outfit is to be a firefighter. I like the way the top is styled because it is styled in a feminine way. She didn't just take like a male's fire jacket and put that on. I like the color accents that she put in it. There's a little bit of red, a little bit of blue in it. The stripes actually work with the outfit. The belt, whatever. It's supposed to be a hose, but it looks like it's made of construction paper. The boots. Oh my God. I would just lay around all fucking day in those boots. You have no idea. I would just be fucking posted up. Just, mm, mm. Boots all day, just fucking kicked fucking back. But it is a two, regardless. I love the material that the boots are made of. They reflect the lights off the runway. The accessories do work with the outfit. Are they polished? No, but they do lend into the character of what she's trying to do. I'm not going to tell her to throw it away because if she threw away the hose and the, the fire emblem, I wouldn't have got it. Only thing I would got was the colors. I think even the gloves have nails on it. And some, I'm always iffy about the gloves with the nails. At that point, either choose to wear the glove or choose to wear a nail. Pick a lane, sis. But this we, time, we gon' we gon' we gon' fight if you don't put some respect on nail gloves. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> you see, Rona has the same face I do. I don't like them. I don't like them. But this time it works pretty well. But overall, this look is a two. I don't love this look for real. I get it. I understand this look. It's camp, and that's always fun. Too many parts of it just don't look great to me. Like. That belt is a mess. The purse is a mess. I kind of don't like that her hat is just a hair loaf with a brim around it. The only nice part about this is the jacket dress combo. I probably gonna just have to boot this. Maybe change up the accessories and styling and we can revisit this look. I, I don't know. Last up to the stage, we have Miss Utica. Okay, Utica. I enjoy this look so much. I appreciate the pattern patterns and colors it's a lot going on get it all works i do kind of wish that strawberry was just a scoop smaller like i wish it was an accessory on her head as opposed to her head being an accessory on the strawberry because it's bigger than her head and honestly that's my only issue i don't know who's the accessory here her or the strawberry i love a queen with a very strong sense of self and they know what they like and they're not chasing trends and they're not riding waves they just like what they like and they put it on and they make it work so utica absolutely gets a tooth I don't like this look. Girl is busy as about I 295 in the DC highway. She needs to edit. She does have stylization. She does have a keen eye. I don't purposely like it. There's too many things that were a different part of different outfits that she's like, oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. And put it all together. The strawberry actually works with her face makeup and her hair. It actually looks very nice with it. And then the rest, no cohesion. I understand you don't always have to be cohesive. The mug and the hair and accessory look great. I just don't like this. It's a boot. For me, this is an example of a very rare circumstance where a queen can take different things from different outfits and put them together and it works. I really appreciate the three different patterns because they're all different colors. I would have a problem if it was three different patterns but they all had the same color i do think the blue works with the plaid pants which works with the jacket i think the strawberry is cute i think it could have worked with or without the strawberry i like her makeup the way she did her eyebrows matches the eclecticness of the colors of the outfit so it's a two there isn't anything i personally would change now to wrap up the episode it is time for our top toots of the week 
My top two of the week is going to be Candy Muse. When it comes to all of the girls on the stage, I kept coming back to Candy and I just couldn't think of a single thing that I would change about this outfit. Whereas every other outfit, there would be something that I could change or edit. Whereas Candy, I think it's just completely perfect from head to toe. So my top two of the week. My top two of the week will be Simone. I just love everything about this. The confidence she radiates from it. Her actually using her natural skin and just adding just a little bit of oil to just make just the outfit and herself pop and the way the outfit fits. Yes, is it simple? Absolutely. But it works so well. It radiates even more of a confidence that complements both her smile and just her body. I am picking Simone as well. She can make such a simple garment look phenomenal you know it's black history month and i'm gonna go support simone that's it don't get me wrong i was gonna pick simone regardless of the month that we were in for this look simone did that and that concludes this week's episode of addressed opinions make sure you follow all of us on our respective socials down right up there i am at yeah. jasper hedgehog you can find Ron on Instagram and Twitter at Ronan Does It All. Because I do. Ar <laughs> and you can find Arcane at, at Fly Like a G Shep. Next week, we will be reviewing the Winner's Circle looks from episode two of RuPaul's Drag Race. I know we're being shady, but you have to remember, goddamn, uh, don't be too hard. <laughs> That's you. Y'all saw my face. I was just going like, I don't owe her nothing, and she don't owe me nothing. I fight her. I don't care. Anybody who be uh, like, who want to talk to me, I'd be like, boot. Talk to the boot. I don't care. Oh my goodness. Not sure. Not talking to the boot. My eye doesn't know what to fucking pay attention to because I have not taken my Adderall today. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Other than that. Oh no. Don't hurt yourself, child. Don't hurt yourself. I know how it works. Excuse you. I all I said was don't hurt yourself. I'm not that old. Don't come for me.